Did anybody actually buy the iPhone 12 mini? Yep, I did. And it was awful. I loved it, but uh, it was awful. And now I have an iPhone 14 Pro. But why is that? Well, for me, like for many, there is almost a romance to the idea of having a smaller phone. The idea that we can return to a simpler time where we were able to just use our phones comfortably with one hand and also to be able to pocket it easily. But the world has fundamentally changed since 2009 and the way that we use our smartphones fundamentally has too. So even when Apple does make a small smartphone outside of a vocal minority, there just is not the market for one. So now let's just recall the context of smartphones back in 2009. Back then data was expensive. I recall being very cautious with the single gigabyte of data allowance that $50 a month afforded me back then. And therefore on my Palm Pro that I was using at the time, all I really demanded was a working email, SMS, a little bit of web browsing and a lot of text-based social media like Facebook and Twitter. So while YouTube and music streaming are were possible, neither the limited battery nor the limited data really encouraged their use. But with the advent of fast 4G and now 5G since, things have really changed. Now we demand so much from our phones, it's almost unbelievable. They are more than just pocketable computers, because while they now play the latest PC games, edit raw photos and ProRes video, they are also now somehow professional cameras too and also have the flexibility of a bag full of DSLR lenses. It's incredible how much we demand from our phones now and what's more, they also need to last all day. So naturally they're going to be far larger than the smartphones of 10, 15 years ago. But there are still people who want small phones, so what can we do? Foldables are one obvious solution. But the problem is, is that they're still fundamentally carrying a massive smartphone, albeit one that's just uh, folded in half. So instead of having one massive phone in your pocket, you've got one massive lump that's just uh, folded in half. Or we can just accept that phones are now large and accept the compromises that come with it. Because despite being a stalwart of smaller phones, an iPhone 14 Pro Max, while uncomfortable in the pocket, really isn't that bad. It's usable.